Hey y'all, pizza for people. Good Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Hello. Um, I am, it's 9.03, I've already signed in for work, but I'm about to go grab this free smoothie real quick, because I, I want a smoothie, and then I gotta go to the bank, um, because I need to get some money out, so I can start, um, making my Father's Day purchases, we have finalized the Father's Day, um, menu, um, and so far we have ribs, um, Nathan's hot dogs, because Ronnie loves Nathan's hot dogs, um, sausages and hamburgers we have regular angus burgers and the angus cheddar bacon burgers um and then for the sides we're going to do mac and cheese green beans baked beans in the oven a salad corn on the cob and some coleslaw because ronnie and i have been loving the coleslaw um and then um you know sodas juice water that kind of stuff or whatever and whatever we decide for dessert i'm not sure about dessert yet but that's what's going to be on the menu for father's day um as far as ronnie's gifts um i was going so he asked for some specific things he asked for like a punching bag to put outside on the bottom deck he asked for a, a i think it's like a upholstery extractor machine for his when he details cars um oh i went the wrong way for when he details cars um which is like very expensive but as you guys know he got me a computer so i'm not complaining but anyway um he just sent me a couple links to different ones so i need him to send me the one that he actually decided on he sent me the punching bag so i have that and then there was this exercise thing that he said he wanted but he hasn't really said anything else about it so i don't know if he still wants that my surprise gift to him from baby girl was going to be a charcoal smoker because he's really into grilling and everything and he uses the grill to smoke but when we have people over and stuff like that it would be good for him to have a separate smoker and then he could use the grill to actually grill you know regular food and stuff so i had already looked at the one i wanted to get him and i told you i think i told you guys in the vlog last weekend when his family was over the day that we took our pe our maternity pics he just randomly came out and was like, I think I think you should give me a smoker for Father's Day. And I was so mad because I felt like he that would be his like he would be so surprised and I was gonna make it from the baby. So anyway, he's headed to work right now. Before he left, I showed him the one that I originally wanted to get him. So he gave me the green light on that one. So I'm gonna order that from Amazon. It's actually sold at Home Depot as well, but it's sold out right now. So I'm gonna order that from Amazon. The punching bag is coming from Amazon as well. Um, and then I'm ordering a cover for it as well because I don't want it to like rust or whatever. So yeah. And then I did order him um, another gift from the baby. It's one of those uh, Facebook ads that come up with like the clothing items you can purchase. It was like a Dallas, you know, he's a diehard Dallas Cowboys fan. Anywho, um, I, it, it was a shirt that said best dad ever and the A in dad was the Dallas Cowboys star. So I got him the sweatshirt. It's um, navy blue. That was like 50 bucks. So um, that'll be here on time. They already, you know, confirmed my order or whatever. Um, as far as my dad, I'm going to get him a new ladder because he has the boys, meaning Ronnie and my brother and my cousin, getting up on this ladder that's older than me, that's made out of wood and that is not sturdy at all. So I'm gonna get him a metal, like six foot ladder for the house, like small house projects. He has a huge one for like climbing up on the roof and stuff, but I wanna get him a ladder. And then I just texted him this morning ask, asking what else he wants or needs. Um, my mom said he may need some new sneakers, but I don't know, I, I give him the opportunity to tell me something. Um, and if he doesn't, then I'll just figure something out. But I need to go to the bank to grab some money for that. And um, if Ronnie doesn't want the the uh, exercise thing, I'll have to find something else to get him. Like maybe some more clothes or something from Polo because, yeah, he definitely did not go cheap on my gifts. So I want to make sure that, you know, he gets enough stuff, basically. Um, but anyway... Um, that is what I'm doing. Get my smoothie first and then I'll go to the bank. Um, what else? And I hope to place all the orders. Like, 
already have the punching bag and the smoker in my Amazon cart, so I'm good on that. Um, and then if he doesn't want the exercise thing, then I will figure out something else to get him. But yeah, like I said, maybe some polo stuff. He loves polo. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have to send out the text about Father's Day, so we kind of like split up the menu. So I'm providing the ribs and the Nathan's hot dogs. Um, my mom is providing the sausages and the burgers. And then Ronnie's mom is going to do hopefully mac and cheese and green beans. And then my sister-in-law is going to do basically all the sides because those are like way cheaper or whatever. And then my sister Ashley should be able to do like the sodas and juices and waters for the for everybody to drink. So that's how we're gonna divvy it up. Hopefully it won't be you know that bad or whatever. But anywho, um that's the plan. So yeah, Father's Day 2020 quarantine style. Um next week end is my nephew's birthday he's turning one ace man i'm so excited for him um so i showed you guys the phone posits that i bought him i turned around yesterday and bought him some jordans as well because they were on sale at foot action and then on top of that they let me use a 25 percent off coupon so i got the jordans for 40 bucks um and i wanted to get him a black pair of shoes since the phone posits are silver um, so I ordered those. I still need to order his workbench. I want to order, get him like a big workbench or whatever. It's like $120 or so. Um, but I didn't order it because it was kind of early and Walmart has like two day shipping. So when, when I'm at the bank, I'm going to get the money out for that too and probably place that order today because his birthday is actually on the 4th, but we're going to celebrate on the 6th. Also next week, I think on Wednesday, my cousin... Um, it's birthday she's grown um, she is um, celebrating her birthday with like a family dinner but it's just at my brother's house she actually lives you know um, at my brother and sister-in-law's house so basically my parents and me and Ronnie are just gonna go over there and we're gonna have dinner so that's gonna be I think that Wednesday I want to say third I think it's June 3rd um, and then Ace Man's birthday know celebration will be that Saturday so I'm going to go over there probably next Friday for, so Wednesday for my cousin's birthday I'll be over there and then Friday I'll come back um, Friday evening after work to do his balloon garland because Ace Man need a balloon garland too that's my boo-boo um, and he is doing like the jungle safari theme for his birthday so that'll be cute um, we do need to go to the storage unit probably sometime this weekend. Ronnie's working, so I may have to go by myself. Um, but, um, I need to get the rest of the white cake stands for his dessert table because I split white and pink with Mia's. So I only pulled out half of the white ones and half of the pink ones. So now I can put the pink ones back in storage, but I need a few more white ones to set up his, um, dessert table. So I'm going to probably do that, um, sometime either this weekend by myself or next week maybe next week because Ronnie has some days off um, since he's working this weekend so that's the plan um what else is going on I don't know I have one more big load of laundry that I'm doing right now and then that's it I meant to print off some labels while I was at my mom's house but she has a label maker I meant to print off some labels um, of different sizes of clothes that I can put on the um, plastic bins that are in the bottom of baby girl's closet, but I forgot. So the next time I'm over here, I'll have to use her label machine to do that. Um, what else? I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there's nothing else, y'all. Um, 
the chicken salad last night was bomb. As soon as I got home, Ronnie was starving. He never ate dinner like he said he was going to do while I was at my parents' house. So he was like waiting for me to bring the chicken salad home. He made two huge chicken salad sandwiches and ate those. And so I was like, well, I haven't eaten dinner either. I was going to make the tacos, but since you're eating this, I might as well make this my dinner. So I ate the rest of the chicken salad with um, some Ritz crackers. So the chicken salad literally never made it to the fridge to chill. We just ate it. It was so good. He said he was thinking about it this morning as well. So I may get another rotisserie chicken maybe this weekend and make some more next week um, because it was really good and it wasn't hard at all to make. It was really easy. Um, and the only thing that I would need is an onion and some celery because I have everything. I have all the other seasonings um, once I get the chicken. So that was really good. Now I know how to make chicken salad. It didn't really taste like my grandma's, but it was a really close, close match. But um, it was really good. I'm glad he liked it or whatever. So today we have to, I have to make the tacos like I have to because that meat has been um, thawed out now. Um, so I'm going to make some um, tacos with ground turkey meat. And we're gonna have some um, yellow rice, some Goya yellow rice and call it a day that is what we're having um what else i'm a little bit early but yeah that's what we having that's all that's going on that's all that's going on oh they have to wait at the light today of course um so yeah that's all that's going on oh this weekend is um my friend Brittany's birthday and on sunday it's her birthday she will be 34 and so she's having like a drive-by pull-up type situation for her birthday so i'm excited about that um and yeah um i'm gonna bring my sparkling rosé and my sparkling mimosa because that's all i can indulge in right now which is fine um Of course there's no line. I don't think that they are open. Well, they're open, but I don't think that they've made my smoothie yet because I ordered it for a 9.30 pickup and it's only 9.15. But hopefully by the time these two cars are done, it'll be close to the time where mine is supposed to be finished. But anywho, that's all that's going on. So I just need to go to the bank, y'all. That's what I need to do. Um, Like I said, Ronnie just left for work, so see him this afternoon yesterday he didn't get home till like four or something it would have been earlier though but he went to the motorcycle shop y'all don't even get me started on that but anyway um yeah he went to the motorcycle shop yesterday so to get some stuff um i fixed that piece of hair that got wet um in the milk bath shot yesterday i had a flat reef blood on it so i wrapped my hair so that's why i have this scarf on instead of my bonnet um and it's raining in the DMV today, so ugh, I wasn't about to unload, I mean, undo my hair. But anywho, that's all she wrote. So I will talk to you guys later. All right, y'all. Buttons got her free smoothie, and it's so good. So I'm headed to the bank now. Actually, I gotta go to two banks. Because cash is not gonna help me order stuff online. So I have to put it into the bank that my checking account is in. Um, but that's fine. Actually, I don't know where the bank is. Over here. Mm, I don't know. Anywho, got my smoothie. My co workers asked to see a sneak peek of the um, maternity pictures, so I just sent them that. So I'm conversing back and forth with them about those. A lot of them are still being edited, so I've only sent them some, but they love what they see so far. And yeah. Anywho. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm about to call my mom. Hey y'all, so... It's still Thursday. I just whipped up some lunch, just a sandwich, and 
some carrots and rice dressing and some water because I'm trying to do better. I need to take my vitamins as well. But I just took my um, blood pressure just to try to be safe. And this machine sucks, okay? It gave me three different readings. But I sent them to Ronnie. And one was really high. The other ones were within my normal range, which was fine. Um, but he's concerned about my pulse on all of them. He said that it was pretty high. It was in the low 90s, like 90 and 91. Um, so I'm going to look that up. I'm going to try to eat this. And then um, I have a two o'clock meeting. So I'm just trying to remain positive. I'm getting a little beside myself just because I'm frustrated with that machine. It's not working. My parent, my father does have a machine at his house. So I may use that today um, or maybe tomorrow. But I don't have another appointment until next Thursday. So I just want to make sure that my pressure is not continuously rising because the first reading it gave me was much higher than what it was last Friday when I went to the doctors. So yeah, I'm going to try to stay calm, eat this, take my vitamins, drink my water and just finish my work for today. So it's Thursday, still the 28th of May and it is 527. I'm finally off. Um, I just haven't had any energy today. I don't know where my top is to this pot. I have no idea, but I'm making some Goya yellow rice and um, some tacos with turkey meat. And I'm also warming up the tortillas and the hard shells. Ronnie just ate some ribs that he um, smoked earlier this week. So he may not eat this, but I wanted to cook it because I had been thawing out the meat. And I didn't want it to go bad. And I also wanted to cook it because, you know, this shredded lettuce sometimes doesn't last that long. And we went shopping on Saturday. So it's Thursday now, so we need to eat it. Um, and then I have my taco sauce and some sour cream. So I'm going to eat that. And then I'm going to try to do a load of baby girl's laundry. Um, but I'm just not feeling 100% today. So I'm going to take a breather after that. My workstation is shut down for the day. And um, yeah, so that's what's going to happen. He's downstairs watching TV, chilling. We still haven't put the table back because I was sorting through baby stuff. He was supposed to take this stuff to his aunt's house um, for his cousin. But he's kind of tired. And I don't know if it's the weather or what, but it's kind of gloomy here. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know if he's going to do it today or maybe he'll do it tomorrow or this weekend or something, which is fine. But yeah, that's what's going on in this household right now. I'm just kind of like chilling and yeah. So I'm about to make my um, tacos as soon as my rice is done. Um, and then, which it looks like it is. Um, and then that should be it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for Thursday. Okay, so these three gifts came together. And these are from the same person. But the person chose to purchase anonymously. And this is my first anonymous gift. So, unfortunately, I don't know who to thank. But whoever sent these, thank you so much. They sent a dad life mug. Um, a mom life mug, which is so cute. Um, and these things were on my registry. And then the muslin photo um, background blanket. So thank you guys, whoever sent this. Thank you so much. I'm unable to thank you individually, but because I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. And then I will show you, this is the aftermath of the shoe haul. As you guys can see, I need to take that stuff back upstairs and then I need to take baby girl's um, clothing that I'm keeping back upstairs. Um, but let me show you what else came. Stacy purchased us the the um, play yard, these are Ronnie's tools he's gonna use to do the deck and stuff. Um, the pack and play, and we got the Corolito pack and play with the cuddle cove, so it has the changer and it has the little, this is like a seat thing that can come out as well, and then you know you can remove all of this and then it becomes a play yard. So she got us this. I don't think it's colored on here, so you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's gonna go in the basement. So we are grateful to get this. Thank you so much, Stacey. That is a load of baby laundry that I need to do. And yeah, so that's what came today. Um, this is actually Stacey texting me right now. I just, just pulled it in the house. So let me tell her that it came. This is also a box of baby clothes that needs to go upstairs as well. So yeah, that's what's going on today. I'm working and um yeah so ronnie's at work i had to water the grass let me show you guys the grass 
don't judge my living room y'all know it's baby central right now but eventually we're gonna put that table back um oh my neighbor is outside doing some stuff but yeah i watered the grass today that's a leaf on the grass right there and i watered that side as well because Ronnie had to go to work early i also watered the flower bed a little bit too um but that was unintentional because i couldn't figure out how to turn off the spray nozzle <laughs> so i just had it pointed at that um but yeah so yeah it looks really good i really like it looks like he's getting some new mulch um put down and you can see his landscaping is different so he doesn't have any grass here but he did end up um giving ronnie money to kind of um pay for the sod on that patch because technically we share that patch so um, ronnie told him he didn't have to but he insisted because ronnie went ahead and picked up the sod and laid it and did all the work and ronnie actually cuts that because as you can see he doesn't have any grass so and he's actually on our grass right now ronnie would not be pleased with that but it's okay he's nice um so yeah that is what is going on today Hey y'all, so Amazon just dropped this off. I ordered this at like 2 a.m. and it came same day. But it is a portable sound machine um, or sound spa. I saw this on someone's labor and delivery vlog. They had it in the bassinet at the hospital with their baby and it was playing um, music and helping the baby sleep. So I figured I would get one. They didn't have this exact same one. They had one, I saw it on Amazon, it was more expensive, like $30, but this one was only 10. So I have decent reviews and it came same day. So I wanted to give it a try. So I bought it for a baby girl and I'll be sure to put batteries in it before, you know, I put it in my hospital bag, but just something just in case. And we can also leave this in a diaper bag for when we're not at home and um, she's napping or something, if she likes this type of music when she sleeps or sound when she sleeps but this is from amazon and it was ten dollars okay y'all so ronnie's off i'm off it's friday night may 29th we're about to go to home depot and get basically the same closet system pieces that we got for our shoe closet except it's not going to be as many shelves across it's only going to be it's only going to be three shelves across i measured the width of her closet is 67 inches across but these are 12 inch depth. So I need to go measure the depth of the shelves in her room because the bins that I got, I want them to be able to sit on the shelves. And I think hers may come out a little bit further than 12 inches. So I need to go measure that now. But this is basically, you just put the two tracks. You see the track back there and then there's one over there. And then it's just these little racket things that hold the shelves up. So that's what we're going to go get. And also some spray paint for the patio furniture that I want to spray paint. Okay, so I just measured the depth of this. This is the old style shelving. It's still one foot. And these are the bins that I'm going to put on there. So you, it's, it's good enough. So as you can see, we have been hanging up close. Um, I have a few more hangers in there, probably about... 25 and i have tons of clothes this is what i mean by my bins won't close i have four bins i have one fifth bin that's downstairs that i've been using as a laundry basket but i just ordered her laundry basket this morning from the container store yeah it was on sale for like 50 some dollars but of course after shipping i paid 68 i don't want to talk about it anyway i wanted one with the lid on it to keep all the funky smells in so i guess when we get back or maybe tomorrow we're going to take all this stuff out of her closet take that down and then install the three shelves. I think three shelves will be good. And that'll still allow me to get three of those across the bottom of her closet, hopefully. Let us pray. So I'm gonna get the spray paint right here for the furniture. Uh, hopefully they're not sold out. Excuse me. We get Aura Bronze. So they're $6.98. I think I'm gonna start out with three cans and see how far that gets me. It probably won't get me to complete all of them, but I think that's what I got last time. I don't know. Yeah, I think I got old rub bronze. This one's not bad, but 
I'm gonna start out with three and try to do the chairs at least. See how I like those. Then I'll come back and get more for um, And I gotta get the drop cloth up here. Are these it right here? Yeah. I'll get two of these. Actually. Yeah, because he's probably gonna help me. So, we'll get two of these. So, now we are going to get the closet stuff. Oh, I got, I'm supposed to get a wire brush, right? Where that's at? Huh? Well, we can at least get the uh, closet stuff and then ask, ouch, where the wire brush is. I'm tired of buying this closet stuff. I'm tired of Home Depot. They take all my money. Okay. So we need the 12 inch depth ones. And we got a 16. This is eight feet. So we probably gotta get this and cut it because yeah. I think the other ones are um too short because measure 65 out there here pull this measure 65 I think we have to get the 18 ones and cut them though yeah so I think those are the ones we have to get we have to get three of these and then three of three of those it's fine and then I got to find the 12 inch bracket. Now the ones with my, um, huh? You don't have to take two inches. You can take one inch. As long as it fits in the closet, the width wise, I don't care how much you take off. I just want it to fit and not be scraping up against the walls and the wrong width. That's all. So cut off as much as you think you need for 67. And then I need these 12 inch tracks right here. Three. I think I'm gonna go with six two for each shelf so in the closet you built for me in in my room it, huh? no they should have one up at this desk right here the closet you built me had the little it has the thing for the holes but I guess I can hang her clothes on this can I Or should I put the, I don't know y'all, what I'm talking about. And then we gotta get these track pieces over here. And then these are the things that I was talking about. But I don't see the poles. So. I'm thinking at least. Or maybe these just hang on in. So I'll clean this box out. So this is what these look like. It's the closet support. But I don't know where the closet. The closet poles are. Oh, here they go. <coughs> so they're gonna, geez, this is gonna be expensive. So this is basically how it's gonna look. You see that? See how that is? So let me put the phone down and help him. Hey y'all, we putting together all the baby stuff and getting it ready for her section. I'm doing the um, bouncer. He's doing the match and swing. And then we have the um, pack and play and then her travel system as well. So Miss Kanita Hawkins, thank you so much. I'm putting it together now. 
I'll show you guys once we're finished. And then we also have the gray um, diaper genie for down here too with the um, refill. All right, here's an update. I finished the um, the rocking seat. We just have to add batteries. Um, once I go upstairs, I'll get some. But yeah, that's all we have to do is add the batteries. And it's so cute. I need to put this under, hold on. I'm trying to do it with one hand. And he is finishing up the swing that my cousin gave us. It actually matches. I can't see that. Um, it actually matches. And then we have this as well. Let me open. That's how it goes. And then this goes in there. I'm not going to pop the lid on it. But I'm just going to put this in there for now. And we'll put this beside the um, pack and play. But this is an update. He's putting that on there now. Where does the batteries on that one go? In the base? Okay. This one goes in the back. And they do come with the infant head inserts, which I really like. These are neutral colors. He just pointed out to me that these go for a boy too. I don't know why he pointed that out. But I was thinking gray and this um, cream color would match, you know, the aesthetics of the basement. So I couldn't find a gray um, pack and play. So that one is not really gray, but it's very... It's similar. It'll go. Okay, y'all. So the pack and play play yard cuddle cove is the last thing we're gonna put together. We're gonna save her um travel system for a little later. But once we move this moving box, which has more mirror frames in it for the wall, we'll spread out these two. I put her diaper genie here, which once we put the um pack and play there, we can move it closer to that so that we can get into our fridge. And then this will be like the baby zone um in this area. And then I guess her travel system can stay over there oh it is kind of gray it'll match yeah i tried to go for a neutral tone color for down here as well all right y'all so we got the diaper genie up we have the pack and play up we just have the that's the uh cover for underneath it we have the bouncer set up we have the swing set up and we're going to do this last when the baby is almost here but this is going to be like her little station for right now this is where we'll change her and she'll probably rest and sleep in this when she's little and then the bassinet we already set that up and these are all of the things i need to go put upstairs in her, her nursery and we'll pop the um filter on that once it's time and then we just need batteries for everything everything needs batteries you can trash this ronnie actually okay guys so we finished downstairs for today this is her bumble seat we're gonna put this in the bottom of her closet because it is for three to twelve months so she has some time these are her manuals i try to keep all her manuals just in case we give stuff away later but i did put batteries in this and it works i'm gonna take this and put it in my hospital bag for her just hold down the button it comes on and it's on lullaby it does heartbeat white noise and ocean sound that's the lullaby one put on timer and you can adjust the volume so for ten dollars not bad that'll go in my diaper i mean in my um what do you call it in my hospital bag and it's by it's the my baby by home medics ten dollars on amazon same day they actually have it strapped to a stroller car seats diaper bags all of that so, yeah, now I'm about to find me something to eat in this house, y'all. I'm hungry.